I want to welcome you back to Dundee in South Africa. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about eggs. I was looking at these, they remind me a little bit of fish eggs. I don't know if you can see them, these little plant seeds. And uh, it reminded me of something Jesus said in John 3. Uh, I'm going to read it to you, it's so interesting. Jesus answered and said to him, that is Nicodemus, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Did you know that all birds are born twice? That's right. The mother bird, she lays an egg. That's like the first birth. That's like when your cat has a baby or your dog has a baby. But then that egg hatches and that's like a second birth. And you know, when a bird has its first birth, that egg is in danger. I don't know if you've read about it or known it, but bird eggs are the favorite food of so many animals and especially of snakes. I mean, imagine if you were a snake. If you're a snake, some things, if you want to eat them, they have claws. Some things, if you want to eat them, they have beaks. Some things, if you want to eat them, they have, uh, they could stomp you. But you know about eggs? No teeth, no claws, they can't hurt you. It's the safest food for snakes. So snakes will crawl all over trees. They'll be all looking for bird nests. And if they can find a nest, they'll try to eat that egg even before it hatches. And of course, if the, if the egg is hatched, the snake will try to eat the baby bird right there in the nest. Well, that's to teach us a lesson. It's that Satan doesn't wait, young man, young woman, boy or girl. He doesn't wait until you're an adult to attack you. Satan, like that snake, looks to destroy even children. He looks to get you involved in bad habits, to destroy the way you think, to get you involved in watching movies or using games that would destroy your spiritual interest. The devil tries so hard to injure you, maybe even having adults treat you with violence or in a terrible way. And I want you to know that just like that mother bird tries to protect its eggs, that God has an interest in protecting you. He wants you to be born again. And here's the difference between you and the bird egg. That bird egg can't do anything. He can't be born again until it's the right time. But you can choose when you're born again. You can choose when you give your life to Jesus. You can choose when you begin to pray every morning and to tell God that you want him to take your life for the day. When you ask God to live inside of you and to be part of your experience, when you choose to obey him, you're hatching. You're that egg that's breaking open. You become a baby and you think that means the devil's going to leave you alone? No, he goes after babies just like he does. He goes after those eggs. So right the first thing, when you give your life to Jesus, you want to stay close to him because babies that stay close to their mothers the mothers protect them from those predators. And it's the baby that wanders away that's in the most danger. So remember what, what Jesus said to Nicodemus. We read it. He said, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And Jesus said in verse 5, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of, of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. In other words, you and I were born from our mothers, and so we're human. But when we allow God to remake our hearts, then we're born of the Spirit. And when we're born of the Spirit, then we're his children, and God will take his children to heaven. So these aren't fish eggs, but they can remind you that frogs and fish and lizards and birds all have to be born again. And so do we. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, I'm asking that you would guide each one of us to be born each morning, to have a new experience with you. Save us from the snakes that would be around to destroy us. I ask in the name of Jesus. Amen.